Right. So, very good evening. So, also afternoon or morning, wherever we are uh, listening to me from. Yeah. So, very quickly, we're going to uh, welcome uh, some of us who are new tonight and to welcome and for some of us who have been, you know, there for a very long time. You're welcome. And without much ado, I'm going to go through. Uh, there, there are not too many new things that we're going to go through, but it's going to help us to readjust ourselves and um, help us again to, all right, synthesize on certain things in the crypto space and not to just do anyhow, okay? And uh, once you're doing things and you are actually not um, arranging, uh, doing accordingly, rather, let me call it a strategy, what makes you do well in the space of cryptocurrency is practically align your strategy. Your strategy is as essential as anything if you must do well in the space of crypto. So ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm gonna take us around you know, setting facts and figures and certainly why we need to wake up, right? And adjust ourselves to you know, important things. Um, crypto is going bigger, there's no doubt about it. And the mass adoption is going more and more but it will be pathetic when the time, when the real deal are happening, that some of us will not be aligned. So it is important you align and make arrangement for how to get involved, you know, logically and you know, partitioning your portfolios, right? So partitioning portfolios in crypto space is very, very essential. So I'm going to take, of course, uh, we are not in a trading class, so I don't expect I'm going to do uh, market analysis. Um, that is practically reserved, even though we still say some of them here, but that's practically reserved for um, those of us who are on Build With Me. And I'm sure even we in Build With Me, we don't overlabel ourselves. So let's, um, I'm gonna take us round now on this space, crypto, All right? Uh, number one thing that I'm gonna take us through is fundamentally looking at the aspect of, uh, of course, I, I normally tell many of us, right? I normally tell many of us why it's important to hold crypto. It is important to hold crypto in the sense that it helps you to maximize profit at the long run and you can pull out money at a go, okay? Now, pulling out money at a go is practically a result of you being patient, all right? And of course, identify, all right, a project to get involved in. So, you know, I have a lot of friends. Uh, before I move further, for some of us who are on credit, like I've told us, please, you, you, it, it's important you, you, you spread I've said it before now, but I, I think I need to repeat it. It's important you spread your coins on different exchange, at least maybe Crest24, uh, Hotbit, and BitForest. Um, it's not a danger anyway. So, but why? It, the reason is uh, I want a situation where everyone is able to have place to make money you know, when the spike is going to happen. So if I were you, you know, if I keep some of my uh, credits on Crest24, on Hotbeat, uh, I think it was on Crest24 that it was pumped up to as high as 40 cents sometimes. So with that all-time high, that means when the heavy activities may happen there, so I, I, I can probably set prices on Crest 24, maybe three prizes as the case may be. It doesn't matter how many volume you have. So you can create three partitions, maybe 30 cent or 40 cent and probably 65 or 70 cent and just leave it that way. Then the same thing on Hotbeat, you know, you may set on Hotbeat probably to look at how heavy probably they have pumped it on the, 
Uh, yes, everybody is expecting that when you get to one dollar, but it won't just move and it go and hit one dollar. So always take note of that so that you don't miss out of much money printed on the table, like American dollar stimulus. So it is important we set it down to take advantage of the market when it presents itself to us. So that's the that on credit. Of course, you know, credit is one of the projects you know we have got involved in and with a time, span of time that has done some volatility, we definitely ought to have made some money on it. So that's for credit, okay? And uh, somebody will say, okay, should I leave my, of course, right now, uh, because of the excessive hacking that took place and uh, it's, it's compulsory right now, it's compulsory right now to have, um, uh, what's it called? It, it's important, it's, it's now to have, um, uh, KYC done. Somebody say, what of us that have done KYC before? Everyone ought to go back to do, you know, their KYC. So it's important. So go back and do your KYC, right? So uh, capture your, you know, ID very clean and make all the edges none is cut off. And so do the necessary thing for Terra Credit Platform. Like I told us, some of us who are like, I don't like complicated things. Sorry. Uh, like I was chatting on the on the group chat of. Uh, the staking platform or the, the master node platform of credit that, hey, I just rather have to pull out my money from the I host them and because, you know, upgrade this uh, wallet. Of course, the wallet system is desktop wallet for credit. And so, of course, it's a full master node. So, of course, you, we, over time, we learn much what a full node is all about. And I think part of the thing we will just, uh, you know, navigate through today, it's part of uh, the you know, master node system and so so please do this, and if you know you want to keep it somewhere, you know, to be adding more fraction, then you can push it to my container. You know, the difference between my container and the iHost, I mean, I think it's just about 5%. And so what's important for me is that you're able to keep it in a place where the, the market moon excessively, you can actually make some money. So to me, you can divide it into two, keep half on my, you know, my container, or if you can monitor and manage, you know, if there are updates or review on, the, on the, their wallet, if you can always follow up to do those things, readjust, why not, you can continue with. But for me personally, I don't like too much complicated things. So once it becoming like um, I'm doing to go to be getting involved in routine, I'm not, I'm not game with those things. So uh, I would rather keep my coin, you know, if I, I wouldn't mind, just make the money from the credit for, you know, two, three occasions as it's moving on and I have little fractions and just keep it in probably on the, my container and then I continue my life, okay? So the most important thing is that every coin you're buying or you're holding or trading, you should be able to take maximum profits on them. So don't just watch market, you know, move up and down and then you get excited without cashing out the money into your pocket. It's very important. If you look at it here, I'm going to go around some of those things I highlighted, you see the importance of holding coin. Uh, look at the um, importance of holding coins, maybe keeping on staking. So of course, some of us who are doing personal trading, we talk about holding in portfolios. If you look at synthetics token, uh, long time holding of it, for instance, in 90 days, this coin, if anyone bought it, just holding it, has done 355% in 90 days. Even with a drop right now, you are seeing a very fantastic profit. Over 90 days, it's about five, 355. Lend about 650. But look at, funny enough, Uma, some of us just bought Uma not long. You know, we traded Uma, uh, you know, from uh, when it was $15, it got to $27. Eventually on Hotbeat, it got to about $40. And Uma, for the fact that it reversed from that $40 back to $15, in 90 days, Uma is still recording 1,165%. And in 30 days, it's still recording 126%. Like, okay, of course, we traded these, and this, this is the only uh, yen, yen uh, DeFi coin I actually can hold. Like I told us, I expect this coin, don't put the trigger on my head, it doesn't happen, but I'm expecting this coin to hit about $100,000 anytime soon. And of course, you saw it go to $43,000. You know, the first limit I had on this coin was at about um, $29,814 or $12. And it got to about 
38 dollars before it came down and then it came down to as low as eighteen thousand dollars so but be careful about all of those year five year five year five this coin so because majority of them are pump and dump but this guy that's a major year for it you know and so some other ones follow suit but well anyone can move over but this guy actually not holding any coin of it and just developing a program so we're not going to details of some of those coins but it just tell you that when you set a plan and a strategy look at Chenling. anyone who bought Chenling 90 days ago for the fact that Chenling pulled back from 19 dollars back to 11 dollar right now the person is still recording about um uh 201 percent so let alone some of us who have bought it for a very long time all right so i'm not going for market analysis i'm just showing you some things now where we are going crypto is bigger than where we are you know going, talking about DeFi, and so let's go uh show you guys something very fast uh there, 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 there we go Share so pattern and strategy are very important in crypto and so you have to work on your pattern so I talked about getting the best out of crypto. First of all, of course, you have to recognize the aspect of personal trading portfolio, and which we said is practically, is a must done as far as you're in crypto. That's at least practically talking about holding coins, right? Swing, but that's not what we're talking about tonight, okay? Now, we're looking at Masternode project and tokenization. Of course, we said Masternode is a server on a decentralized network, which is used to compete a complete unique function. So this consume high memory story capacity, you know, to manage. Sorry, uh, this is actually a graphical. Uh, I'll just do some review on my uh, this guy here. Okay. Where are we? Okay, so we have Right, there we go. Right, there we go. All right, there we go. Fantastic. So, right, storing money to manage the blockchain infrastructure of a given coin. Okay, so Masternode are like the factory managers. Some of us who are still finding difficult, you know, they perform different types of services such as into instant send, private send, and storage of the full blockchain which they receive block rewards. So Masternode are full nodes in both proof of works and proof of stake. Okay, so Masternode is a computer that processes transactions on the blockchain. So which is in, uh, in then rewarded with coins. So this is just a kind of an advanced system of concentrated mining system. So we have platform we have given to a lot of us. Some of us are already there. And we have market peak, right? You know, this section we talked about Masternode project and tokenization. Now, I find Market Peak as a platform that I use for tokenized assets. Now, record just watch over, you know, in the next 10 years or maybe seven years more, you understand the aspect of tokenizations of projects, right? Now, for some of us who are on, on, on Market Peak, you are not on Market Peak, uh, it's not a financial advice, but I would advise you, there's a little, the minimum package of Market Peak, uh, you know, that's one twenty-five dollars. I will advise you, you know, not a financial advice. I would love you if you can, you know, take advantage of it, or you know, just buy some of the coin on the exchange, maybe on buy box or different exchange, and just keep it there, you know. For of course, you don't know what's going to happen in the future, you know. But this project, this market pick, actually set up not only their token, but have about three tokenized assets in their platform. You know, we said the tokenization of assets in the future is a situation where agricultural activities, you know, um, you know, infrastructure and then real estate system, renting system, and all of that are being combined into a token and persons can participate in those projects and get rewarded. That's what I mean by tokenization. So virtually everything in the world will be digitalized and tokenized. And so tokenization will take place more than what we expected. So, but right now, but what I would advise that when you are setting your project or your portfolios, you look at those ones, you may not put too much money on them because it can be a little long time project, but they are fantastic. Just like where we're having Masternode today and all of that, these are started the first functions of uh, even staking we are running after today are started in 2012, but not pronounced. 
then got into 2018 when much pronouncement about, you know, staking Mastodon. Like Midas, Midas has started since 2018, but how many of us in our community actually got to know about it? You know, I got to know about Midas, you know, staking uh, Mastodon system, you know, last year, 2019. And some of us, that community got to know about Midas, you know, this year. And even when we bought it, Mother Atika bought Midas at about 83 cents. And Midas was pumped at a point up to as high as $2.5. And so you have, of course, I'm not going to details of Midas. So if you're here and you are new, you don't know much about it. Whoever invited, you get back to him. But this is Masternode platform. We have Midas, where at least you can set aside about $600 or less than that right now because the price of Midas actually came down. Uh, let me just check quickly because uh, we have limited time to interact today, okay? Uh, Midas, okay. Okay, so Midas about a dollar twenty-four cent thereabout, you know. So that means it has actually come down, and at the point, you go, oh my God, people are born in Midas low. Ooh, what's happening, man? This, oh my God, it's crazy. Okay, guys, let me just quickly give this one to be walking somewhere. I hate money being idle. I love money working for me, um, just working at all times so that when you need money, you can pick it and see be fine, you know. And so now I, I'm not going to detail of how Midas work, just to tell you that this is a Masternode platforms and it has other, you know, affiliated program that you can, you know, benefit from. So why not, if you're in the crypto community and you don't know much about Midas, you know, why not? You can ask the person who invited you. So we have stake. Now these, all these app, stake.us, you know, stack of stake, my container stake group, of course, some of us in our community will already know. I mostly tell us sometimes that when we send some platform for you to register, either you have money or not, register. Very important. Because time we come, they may give some giveaway. Like what happened on, on um, what is, even, okay, like what happened on, um, on Trust Wallet, like what happened on, um, on um, Bitrue Exchange, when some of us who registered earlier, they were doing this distribution, token distributions and all of that. And some of us were given. And funny enough, that token, of course, I told you guys, when I bought additional volume of that token, I knew how much that token got up to. So most time, you are not charged to do anything. Register, fill up your detail. I remember when we registered Cryptorium, Cryptorium wallet. But today in Nigeria, nobody can register. They will tell you it's not available. If you try it now, download Cryptorium wallet, you know, that's Cryptorium own, that own the crypt token. Go and download it and you want to register. It says it's not available in your country. But this is a wallet that we have registered. We verified our account. So we're already taken. So those are the issues we tell people. So the next thing is POS taking and DeFi transactions. There is difference between DeFi, project of DeFi coins, and DeFi transactions. Now, this involves process of actively participating in transaction validation, similar to mining, okay? On a proof of stake, POS blockchain. On these blockchains, anyone with a minimum required balance of a specific cryptocurrency can validate transaction and end staking the world. So in other words, this can be seen more like a hedge fund system or similar to bonds, okay? Or what some of those things they do in the bank, you know, you say, what do they call it? Now 12 months or six months plus something. I think Mr. Chris can help us for that language. I don't know what's <laughs> So, so... Those things, so we, we, that's why we want everybody, you know, when we told everybody in our community, please, I, I thought at a point I kept begging that let everyone make sure that crypto.com was downloaded, fix it, you know, verify your account. And they were giving MCO that time. Right now, I think it's crow, 1,000 crow, you have to be locked in for six months. Sometimes we look like, hey, man, this is not giving money as fast as possible. When those things will spy, I'm sorry, you may not have money to buy enough. Like what Chainlink did to a lot of people. You know, when, when we said, let everybody buy Chainlink at $2, at $3, and divide the Chainlink into two, that's a strategy. And keep hard. Don't touch it. Because it's a long-time coin that would perform very well. And we kept saying, hey, don't touch it. All right? I, I have some friends who said, Felix, either trading or not trading. You see Chainlink, you see X XRP, you see BNB, and some of those coins. I'm not in, interested in trading there. Just buy, lock it somewhere. If there's a place to stake them, I stake them and move on. So what do you think those persons have done to themselves? 
Look at BMB. I still recall last two weeks, I still emphasized in our community, buy BMB. Add up BMB to your portfolios. That's unfortunately. Now, so crypto.com, it's a fantastic thing that if you have not, try as much as possible. Explore those things. Right now, crypto.com, you can do both on the wallet. The wallet is decentralized. DeFi things will happen. Of course, um, crypto.com now, Crow is now pioneering a DeFi wallet already now. Come and see, maybe in the next three weeks, you may see a heavy jump, maybe towards the end of this month, to the beginning of October, you may see a heavy jump on Crow. Don't put the triggers on my head if it doesn't happen, but I'm just insinuating, so it's not a financial advice. Celsius Network, if you're in a community and you do not have Celsius Network, I'm sorry, I don't know why you're doing it. So if you have not, get back to your friend or whoever invited you to our platform and take their link and download Celsius Network. Buy sell coin. Keep it there. I remember I bought Celsius Network, sell coin at uh, six cents, you know, as at the time I've been talking about Celsius, Celsius, Celsius. I think I bought it at about six cents, but how much is sells now? Um, yeah, this coin wants to just announce to you that you must buy me. So if you're, you know, if you are new to crypto and you don't know anything, uh, Kava just came down. It has a fantastic project. Why not? So just, you can get some for yourself. If it's one, if it's two. Sometimes when I tell people some of those coins, you don't have too much money. Look for $10. Look for $20. Somebody will laugh. There is no money that is too much in crypto and there's no small money in crypto, right? There's no money that is too small and there is no money that is too big, of course. But we can always arrive by saying this, 100% of zero is zero, of course, but no money. So stop telling yourself, hey, um, because uh, I do not have enough money, that's why I didn't participate. That's a lie, all right? Okay, sell so just revert then. So it's about 47 cents. Just imagine a coin I bought about three, five months ago at six cents, and this is about 49 cents. Am I trading sales or what's my business trading sales? I just bought it and keep it in the wallet for income, you know, the staking. So six cents, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, you know. Six cents, 49 cents. It has gotten to 50 something cents. That's not my business. I don't have work to do with this guy. You know, at the point when he got to 20 cents, one of my friends said, I need to go to sell. I said, well, I think I see sell at one dollar maybe i changed my mind when it gets to one dollar you know but these things do i look to put too much money in there no not too much money in there okay <laughs> not too much money in there so just those are things you must you know get to learn and to understand that okay so b exchange is expected of for trust wallet you should have you know and so you keep your you know some of those your coin you are holding in stake it properly and then b exchange hotbeat cool coin Polonex, Matic Network, okay? Matic Network is a fantastic, you know, you can open the wallet and then stick Matic, buy Matic. Matic is a, is a primary coin. Some of us who are on the deal with me, we know what primary coins are. You know, it's a primary coin that you should buy and keep in your MetaMask wallet and then go to, you know, wallet.matic.network and stick that Matic so that you can earn. Do you know what? If you, was, if you stake 10,000 Matic in a 12 month, 12 calendar month, 12,000 Matic, you're going to earn about 40% of that 10,000 Matic. Not necessarily it should be 10,000, just using 10,000 as a benchmark. So, but what you're going to earn, but I'm sure maybe the percentage must have reduced, but there was a time it was about up as high as 50%. So that means if I keep 10,000 Matic, I'm going to have, you know, 4,000 Matic at the end of 12 calendar. It makes a lot of sense, all right? And so uh, we are not saying uh, you should put all your investment on one basket or, you know, facing only, you know, staking. But over time, you will know the advantage. I, I told you guys, I heard, I heard um, BNB for two good years. And but when you tell people, when they see the profit you make, they say, if, I, if I, you have told me, I will have bought and kept. It's a lie. Most of us cannot be patient. That's what is keeping us off not making you know, uh, money with rest of mine in crypto. Okay, so Matic Network, Agoran Wallet, One Chain Wallet, Nexus Wallet, all of these are, you know, staking and DeFi transactions. Of course, we do DeFi transactions on crypto.com where you can take loan, you can put your coin as a collateral and take loan. In Celsius Network, the same thing happened, you know, and some even Binance now, they're doing that and all of that. So that is, then we have wallet derivatives and DeFi projects you know, uh, wallet derivatives, DeFi project, and Dexpo liquidity. 
all right? So the primary crypto derivatives product includes futures, options, and swaps, mostly offered against the number one asset, which is Mr. Bitcoin. So crypto derivatives help investors to earn some profit based on their contributions to trading liquidity, okay? This is similar to staking, but it's actually far from staking, okay? So because you have to contribute to the liquidity, and then some you got to keep your coin in the wallet and you get paid because your coin is helping the boost of the financials, you know, uh, liquidity of that community. And then so he said, for trading uh, liquidity, and then it helps as an option to manage risk efficiencies and utility leverage options, you know, to maximize profit. At the same time, contributors can earn passive income by holding their coins on such wallets or exchange platforms. So these are, you know, okay, these are technical and required goods, you know, capital, of course. So they are very technical, okay? And required good uh, capital. So you must know that these guys, right? Um, let's go here. Okay. Let's see. Okay, they're more technical, okay? All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, so they are more technical, all right? So to set it up, you know, and, uh, but this, not all of them are technical because there are some that are technical, like uh, we have some coins like, you know, uh, talking about liquidity. So we say they require technical and require good capital to, you know, amass good profit. But this give indicator for the, you know, continuum mooning of coins such as Balancer, Synthetic, KNC, ZRX, Link, Dia, Umer, LR. So all of these coins are some of those coins that come from derivatives. And that's why sometimes you see that if they come down, they flash up again because they are contributing to liquidity. What's liquidity? Liquidity pools are levels at which price of frequencies, you know, makes a decision. So that's a large amount of order. So in a short form, liquidity pools offer a new standard for efficiency trading assets while allowing investors to earn a yield on their holdings. So these are huge passive income source via decentralized exchange platform. So, you know, so th there are two currently types of decentralized exchange for us. So we have other book peer to peer exchange. And the critical example of this is OX, that is ZRS. Now, if you don't have ZRS, part of the thing that you see that ZRS is making a lot of sense, just like you have a chain link as a you know, price oracle in, you know, the crypto different price oracle comparisons and com you know, comparing you know, different prices together. And that's what Chainlink do. So ZREG is a strong coin because of the function. You know, so the liquidity pool exchange, so these are typically decentralized. So example of it is actually Inc. Exchange, uh, Inc., uh, one inch, you know, Kaba, that is KNC, Uniswap. Of course, the most pronounced is Uniswap, you know, right? And, and um, uh, Bangkok, no, Balancer, okay? You know, Uniswap and Balancer. So we have Uniswap pool, we have Balancer pool, we have synthetic derivatives, we have Ethereum gold derivatives, then we have extreme wallet derivative. One, wow. these guys look more very fragile, you know, because of to claim your reward look like synthetic derivatives. So I don't too much encourage synthetic derivatives. You have to have so much money because the gas fee you are paying for some of those things are too much. You can see that even the blockchain now are going on interest derivatives because they are waking up to like change their dimension from being static to dynamic stuff. You go to your blockchain.com now, you see a lot of things happening there beyond what you used to know. So they are example of, uh, you know, wallet. Now these guys, I've invested on them, but I'm still working on them to see how they standardize anyway. But that was why I sent the link. I said, let everyone sign up, take a slot because they are working on to set up their own DeFi you know, tokens, there are tokens already on the exchange platform, traded and all of that, you know, but the derivatives is paying, you know, sometime maybe 5% in a month and all of that, you know, but it actually still have some complications, you know. But if you, if I were you, you know, I can just, okay, let me take a slide risk, maybe $150 worth of coin, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, you know, actually kept some BNB there, then so getting some derivatives and all of that. Now, we now tell that we have a lot of people who probably want to, you know, involve in MLM leverage of this system, you know, so we said this really brought, you know, much confusion in the crypto industry, you know, as over 85% of crypto MLM related ended up being a big scam, where the last group of participants hit the rock, okay, badly. However, there are platforms that can, you know, that can still help 
friends and well wishers to, you know, who will love to engage in referring crypto services to people and earn huge commissions during uh, doing that. Okay, so this also help people to raise, you know, money for real, uh, uh, real uh, huge trading capital. Okay, so the following are examples: Midas, of course. Now take note of Midas. Midas is actually not a kind of network; it's an affiliate. So because when you burn out a coin, they give you commission based on that. And uh, uh, somebody born out through your link. But if you, that person born out, you only once off, okay? If the person, you know, refer 1,000 people, he will be the one to earn it directly. So it's not a network person, it's an athlete, okay? So the more friends you share with, the more, and if I can share with 10 friends and they decide not to born out, you earn nothing, okay? So don't get confused if you sign up people and then, now uh, we have um, these guys, uh, Market Peak, of course, I told you Market Peak is a tokenized project, you know, and have an MLM affiliate system. So, but the MLM is actually, it earns you netto marketing bonuses and residual bonuses because if people got involved in tokenization of the project there, like um, um, Goldmine and uh, Bitfenix, about three um, projects there, then you can make some money from their residual income. Celsius Network is an affiliate commission. Of course, you can read more about the Celsius Network thereafter, you know, where if you refer somebody and he has invested, you know, you know, store his coin, maybe Bitcoin to end Celsius to end other coin, I think you can end about $20 one of because the person verifies it. So there are sorts of making some money so some people who can do some affiliate. So we don't, we can't deny you, you know, thinking that, okay, uh, let everybody just, uh, you know, do this and you may not know. Crypto.com is an affiliate commission too, and then residual share profit. Where is the residual share profit coming from? Of recent, they said, if somebody starts using Crypto.com exchange platform to trade, you know, the trading fee, you earn commission continually on that. Then Extreme Wallet, you earn what we call residual bonus on MLM, not referral bonus, okay? You know, when you said residual bonus, referral bonus, they are two different things. Referral bonus is, when you sign up somebody, somebody invested $1 million, they pay you 10%, that's a referral bonus. Now, residual is the person earn money, you earn a percentage from what he's earning. But when, because a flexible wallet, the person may keep his money there for three months and you have been earning as he's earning. Now, he decides to remove his money, you stop earning. So it's a residual, you know, and it's flexible, okay? Now, let me go very quickly because uh, time is not my side again. Now, I will just show you guys here that we'll talk about derivatives. Examples, I've used examples. Look at these guys. When we talk about pools, some of us, when you use Uniswap, when you use Uniswap, what you're going to see on Uniswap, let me go back here. Most of us who use Uniswap, this is what you do there. You are using it for trading. That's what you see swap. But the other side here, you see pools. This is a place where you contribute money I can add to the liquidity. All right? You know the essence of the liquidity, whatever coin. But there's sometimes I can add to the liquidity and my peers are not traded on. Maybe I add to Ethereum DAI or Ethereum USDT and nobody trade on that. I'm not gonna earn money, my money is just gonna be there. But so you have to know, of course, you have to identify which coin or which peers of trading coins are actually having high volume. You know, those times, if you don't know, people are making crazy money on a daily basis, but of course this is a high level passive income level of people who are a little bit, you know, uh, have some money and then spread some tentacles. But the truth is it, you know, sometimes you want to trade, like when those, all this saga of um, DeFi, DeFi, Sephi, NoFi, all those five fives, funny skin came up. You know, you want to buy a coin, you're going to spend about $40 for gas fee, $20, $70, $18, $50, $30. Now what happened? All those dollars you are paying, is being shared with the pool liquidity contributors. <laughs> Fantastic. So people are making the money. <coughs> Excuse me. Now you don't care, however, because you know that the coin you are buying, of course, if you're lucky, they pump it, you make so much money. But if you're lucky, they pump it, yeah, you are not there, and they dump it, then congratulations, like hot dogs. Hot dogs pump up to $5,500. I'm not sure hot dog is up to Let's check. I think uh, I can still see it here. <laughs> Look at it. Hot dogs pump up to how many dollars? About 5,000 plus dollars. So that means one of the hot dogs 
you know, got up to about three point something Ethereum to four point something Ethereum. Now, one hot dogs now is 0 0.00000 GUI. <laughs> so one Ethereum now is 9,500. And so people bought hot dog at $5,000, hot dog dumped below a cent. Man, crazy. So that's just it. So you need to understand the, you know, the risk. It's a pump and dump. Some of those projects are funny pump and dump. Now look at this. This is another contributor. This is a coin, okay? You can check it later. Check MXS, okay? MXS is a coin, you know, that you can buy, I think, on, um, on uh, Bilazi, on Uniswap, you know, and uh, this is, let me check here. MXX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, MXS, okay. Okay, yeah, you can get on Bilazi, you can buy it through Uniswap, okay, and Balancer, okay? So I think it's Bilazi that's the only centralized exchange where this coin is being traded, okay? Now, but it has a yield platform too, right? You can see the money that I've gone to the lock of, the, of this multiplier, MXS, it's about how many million dollars? $2.1 million, you know, you can go to the yield, uh, it's connected with my wallet, for instance, okay? It's connected with my wallet, so I can invest on any of the liquidity as a collateral, you know, and the number of days I want to uh, invest. So I can create a contract. I'm not saying you should do that, okay? So which of the token, you can see all of those tokens. I think the people are making crazy money there too, okay? So don't do that, please. But it's, it's actually lucrative, but you, you, you're looking for money to trade more and then you want to lock more money down here. So it has risk speaking when you lock it up because you have to have time frame of locking, all right? It has a three month, six month, nine month tenor, <clears throat> okay? Now when you keep it, maybe the coin you lock in there, you're gonna earn maybe 50%, 100% in three months and all of that. But it can't be moon while you are holding it there, but you mix additional of the volume. So those are some of the risk, you know, on it and all of that. So Blasi and all of that. So, uh, so I, I may not go to too much detail here. Now this, another thing, uh, you know, we talked about uh, OX, okay, this guy. This is an exchange, uh, okay, let's watch this video. Why you must buy this coin and hold in your wallet, you know, uh, look at it. Uh, let's watch this. I have something you want and you have something I want. So we should make a deal. To make a deal, we come to the table. The problem is the table belongs to someone else. So when we sit at their table, a middleman controls the process, holds our valuables, and charges us a lot of money. It's risky, slow, and expensive. What would it look like if this weren't just a table, but a network? A network that no one owns and we could trade directly with each other without anyone in the middle. Enter 0x. 0x is a decentralized exchange protocol. It's a set of rules that businesses and developers use to create a network of exchange that no one controls. Zero X, anyone can come to the table. This means that if I want to trade my currency for your currency without anyone else, I can do that. Or if I wanted to trade my currency for some real estate, I can do that too. I can trade anything for anything with anyone. See, Zero X isn't just about charts and order books. It's about the exchange of value. Developers can use 0x to create marketplaces for the entire world of assets, old and new. They can create markets for game items from your favorite games, or for digital commodities like storage or computing power, even digital art and collectibles. The 0x protocol is open source and governed by its users, removing all geographic barriers and opening the door to markets that could never have existed before. It will all be possible Thanks to 0x. Come to the table. All right, so come to the table, guys. Come to the table. So now this is 0x, okay? Now it, it, it's an idea for you to know, all right? It's an idea for you to know that this space is loaded with so much fantastic thing, all right? So I can, now here, what it does for you, it, it's a protocol and it helps you to match and tell you the best you know, place to trade a particular coin you want to buy. Having connected it, you know, it's a decentralized, okay? Connecting with your 
you know, I said, okay, I want to buy this coin. It's going to tell me where is the best exchange, all right? Uh, if I want to convert Ethereum to DAI, you know, want to buy, it's going to tell me where is the best exchange? Where is the best exchange to uh, trade, uh, to buy, let's say, USDT, you know, to Ethereum, right? $200. Okay. So if I go to review, it's going to show me, you know, Uniswap is the best, you know, and all of that. It's a protocol, okay? It dictates, and if I click now, it moves me to either Uniswap, give me the best guess set of the pricing, you know, that I can move to, okay? So that's, you know, zero X, uh, that ZRX token. And these are some of the functions you will need to understand. Really, really, um, these guys, really rather, you know, really rather is another platforms, you know, that help people to identify different, you know, contact exchange platform, right? These are decentralized, you know, exchange, but people set up pools into them and end derivatives. So, but ladies and gentlemen, you need to know something here, it's decentralized. So you need to understand the operation of your wallet. That's why I always, I always recommend for people to have MetaMask wallet, Trust wallet. Some of those protocols can be operated on Trust wallets, DAP applications, on IAM token applications, even on the you know, token pocket, okay? And some of that, you know, decentralized wallet. So, um, but the first idea is that if I'm trading, or I'm doing some derivatives, or if I'm not doing some derivative, it gives you confidence and understanding to hold a particular coin because of their use cases and functionality. Just how, how many people are holding, you know, Chainlink, either they know what Chainlink is all about, but they know that talking about, you know, Oracle protocol and all of those things, hey, okay, I need to hold Chainlink. Now here, you know, this guy is showing me, right here is showing me, um, I can check my pools, you know, it's telling you the best rated pools I can join, Uniswap, pools, you know, balancer. These are the best top pools, you know, I can contribute to. Now, look at see down on this place because I connected my wallet, it's showing the balance you're having on that same, you know, um, what's this guy called? Um, uh, MetaMask, right? Can, can check what, what, what are those things are there, can check the overview, you know, it's going to show me, you know, what are those tokens and what they what, you know, the money. So it's telling me, bit here, GR is there, is this amount, is this amount, is this amount in that order, okay? So ladies and gentlemen, that's just a, you know, a kind of refresher interactions I said, we should have. And when you are doing your cryptocurrency business, you should understand how to partition your portfolios. But the first important aspect is, you must, as a matter of fact, and very, very important, to set up your trading portfolio holding coins. But from those you're holding coins, you should be able to identify where some of them can be kept for storage, where some of them can be kept for you know, uh, derivatives, where some of them can be kept for staking and some of those things. And so if there's no place for staking, for derivatives, or some of the coins better, I just keep in my wallet and then leave it there. Why I can still trade part of it you know, for liquidity, okay? The whole essence of your swing and your you know, day trading is for liquidity. So I think, ladies and gentlemen, I think I've come to the end of this interaction today. You have questions, why not? You're free to ask questions. You know, I know some of you say, ooh, some of these things are very technical. Yeah, of course, the room was not built in a day. Over time, you will learn a whole lot of things, a whole lot of things I mean, how to do some of those stuff, you know, and by yourself independently and make money. People are making insane money while I sleep, okay? So some of us are still like, oh, am I sure this thing is real? And so ladies and gentlemen, you have a question? Okay, somebody was chatting, so voice is breaking. Uh-oh, sorry about that. I could not get your audio. Okay, it's some of this. Yeah, could that be, um, um, uh, somebody say, Uton Basi, Basi, maybe your network is bad. Is it that everybody didn't get me right? Everybody help me. Yeah, can somebody just tell me, I'm hearing you, I'm not hearing you. Somebody says you're breaking. And loud and clear, I can sir. hear you, loud and clear. Okay, so it's a reception, Basi, and uh, Mary Kay. I can hear you loud and clear. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so anybody with any questions? So, um, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Very importantly, sorry. 
Uh, I posted some things on our group, some of us on, the, some of us on our, um, what's it called? On our mega green. I said, ordinarily, there are things that, of course, people want to participate in. And we, it's as if we use personal discretion, you know, to deny them not to be part of them. Um, like I, I did tell us, you know, uh, you said about, you know, those, some of those uh, smart contract created today. Now, one thing behind everyone's mind, you must know, is some of those smart contracts people are creating, cyber chain, eta chain, chain chain, and all of those chains. They are donations. So they, they, let nobody confuse you that they are investment, they are not. So, but there are some persons, they are good. Like I, I remember saying it in my voice note yesterday on our platform, that I remember when we, we brought a million money to our group that let us see how we can use it to help people raise money. And a lot of people raise money on Ethereum for million money and Zozo network, you know, but some of those people have, you know, ability to interact with people. And um, I think we met a guy who made over $250,000 on the for say, Ethereum that time. But the unfortunate thing for most people is that when they make those money, they waste it because they, they spend it like Naira and dollar. <laughs> you can imagine somebody making about $250,000 just, you know, by joining and upgraded and people are contributing to him after them. But it looks like he made the money from a wolf and he wasted it that way because he doesn't even understand where he was going to, you know. So uh, it was on that note, if you look at it on our group, I removed somebody who posted something. If you want to get a, a terror, uh, thrown, didn't contact me, which was very, very wrong. Of course, our community, everyone there must have somebody who invited somebody to somebody. So if you're not going to use anything to have to do refer, you must align with the person who invited somebody, who somebody to join somebody. And so um, the, the, the platform, uh, Fossage Ethereum, introduced uh, Tron. Of course, some of us who have been trading Tron, even if you are not on bill with me, maybe it's an additional opportunity. Because I remember last meeting we did, I told us that some of those coins, I said, uh, Tron, uh, Litecoin, maybe it was in Crypto Academy, Litecoin, BNB, and some of those coins, I said, add to your portfolio. They are not even part of our trading community. And I'm sure some of them who participated in that and bought some of those coins, we're really happy because at the end of the day, look at what BNB has done and some of that coins. So now Tron is another coin that has so many, a kind of, would I say competing factor with Ethereum blockchain system. Now, very quickly, let me go. Now, so I told us to download uh, Tron chain. Uh, I told us to download uh, token, okay? Uh, so, so that you can participate in in the Forsage throne, uh, I think with $100 or $120, if you're interested, you can participate. But I told us two wallets you should download. If you want to download the Tron link, what you should do is either you download Token Pocket, right? The Token Pocket, I showed this example of it. If you're downloading Tron link, don't just go to Google and search. Come to CoinMarketCap, go to Tron, right? And click on website this way, okay? So if you can, if you can do that, okay, so you click on, so you click on Tron, you click on the website, look at wallet, so click on wallet. That is if you want to use a laptop, okay? You want to use a laptop. I hope this person is out Okay, now, finally, you, you're going to see this first option, it said, what? Download, so click on download. But make sure that you go to CoinMarketCap on your Google Chrome because you're going to download it on Google extension. You can download the Android, but I think the, 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 the version on the web, on the portal, it makes more sense and fast, very fast, more than, you know, um, call it for me, more than the phone. If you want to use phone, Android, or, I, you know, uh, iPhone, download token pocket, okay? Download token pocket. If you want to use system, go to CoinMarketCap, the way I've just done, and then download, uh, click on the Tron wall, uh, uh, website, and then click on download, uh, click on wallet, and click on download, and click on Google extension. So if you look at it now on my Chrome, I have it here, look at the example of it. So this is the wallet, okay? So you create your, uh, you create your, uh, see, this is my wallet, so I'm going to need to log into it. 
So you create your, your wallet. When you want to create your wallet, it's going to ask you to create password. Create password before I ask you of your other detail. Then you do that. Once that is done, then you can copy the link of uh, Tron for Sage and paste it on the browser. And then, but ensure you have funded your account with Tron at least. Um, let me check. Because they, they're introducing some new things they want to like, you know, this is a marketing, okay? So they want to go massive. And so if you can take position and then share with friends too, and they are interested, you know, and then they can make some Tron. But I will warn everybody, if you make the Tron, don't let it get to your head. I remember this type of thing got to a lot of our friends' head in 2017 when we told them, hey, take advantage of um, ICO. And we have a lot of friends who make crazy money, okay? Crazy money. And when they made the money, they said, woo! So it's easy to make more money than this waiting and waiting for a bot coin for more than two months, three months, five months, six months, one year. It has not gone up. And so why would I be doing that? So let me face my ICO. So all the money they made, they went back to the ICO again because they thought that that was how the whole thing would be. So if I were you, if I make some Tron, then I can say, oh, if I make much, much, much money in Tron, let me divide the Tron into two. Keep half. You can go to keep half here. Uh, let's check. Look at here. You can come to this staking. Uh, look at it. We have other staking platform, even on, on your trust wallet. Look at Polkadot is stake here on stake.us. So look at Polkadot is stake here. So look at Tron here. Look at Tron is stake here for at least analyzed return about 36%. So you can stake it. You have enough volume. Then why other volume? Then probably you may do something with it, you know, if you make much. So why this one hole? Because what if you have Maybe you make 100,000 Tron over time. And you divide into two and keep 50,000 for 36% in a year. And what if after a year, when the phenomena start and Tron hit, you saw what Tron is doing to Ethereum, it's chasing Ethereum you know, face to face. There are two coins, uh, sorry, don't put the triggers on my head when it doesn't happen, but there are two coins that are very crazy, you know, one to compete with Ethereum with their DApps applications. And this, those funny two coins, Ah, uh, so if I were you, if, um, maybe if you are, you know, maybe very, uh, sorry for the language, if you are very foolish like Felix, you know, you can say, well, I think it's high time I get some Tron. Of course, some of us in our community who have been trading, I'm, I'm, well, 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 let me not say I'm sure, but at least a good number of people in our community should have Tron already now, you know. And so the two coins, like look at Tron. Okay, look at the movement of Tron was wicked. Uh, I was checking one analysis on Tron of a kind of bit of record it was doing against Ethereum and even major coins. So Tron moved so crazy. And this guy, is it Tron? Okay. And this funny guy. Uh, I'm not saying you should go and buy it. If you want to buy it, it's your choice. But um, what's this guy? You. <laughs> okay, the current one of you guys to see and then it has disappeared. Okay. Enough of that. No problem. Let's forget about it. So when we remember, we say it. But when we don't remember, because like the coin is hiding, you know, I can, I can see it again. It, maybe coin market cap have delisted it. <laughs> oh, so I can't find the coin. To be very candid, I've already showed the coin now. The coin. I've forgotten the name of the coin unless I see it face to face. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I can't see the coin. The coin is angry with me. He said that I've uh, I've actually caused a commotion against him. Uh, Where's this coin? Okay. When we remember, I will tell you guys, okay? So now, um, importantly, so if you want to participate in that, so download uh, uh, this guy, but the mobile type of it, that is um, token, token what? Token pocket. You see token pocket foundation, okay? So token pocket wallet, but the mobile version, okay? Token wall, token pocket wallet. So you can uh, go to your 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 Play Store, you know, and download. So this logo, you know, because there are two uh, version of it, so you don't get confused. With that. <coughs> that has P, okay? So and install it on your on your on your um, from your Play Store. And so once it's installed, uh, once it's installed, you, you, you may be a little bit confused. Click on the place that to me so that you can fill your detail, your email, and create your account before you can now come back and you know, make sure you back your phrase, and then you come back and then click on Tron. 
to select it and you can of course name it you know whatever thing you want to name it to so allow the throne to be available then you can buy throne and send in there and so uh if you want to participate in that so please um it's not a financial advice okay so but um I, i've already started on it and i'm just trying to like um uh what would i call it to be very smart okay it's not try to be very smart so that to pick up some throne i can do as much as possible all right thank you for the reminder um fantastic person okay so any other question anybody please ask questions because we we'll run out of time already okay ask question maybe what you encounter you have one challenge or the other so don't think what we're saying so Very nice, sir. I believe it's in game, sir. Okay, your name is what? Yeah, can you okay. talk? Hello. Um, my question is actually attending um mentioning. Can Can you speak louder? Can you speak louder, please? Hello. Good okay, evening, I sir. said my question is um regarding the um for instance, Mesa Mark Wallace to some. Um, from decentralized exchanges in a sense. So my question is, okay. um, if, for instance, let's say I connect Metamask to a wrong, let me use the word wrong, okay, to a okay. wrong um, site or to a wrong um, location, let me say that way. Uh, okay. What is the repercussion? That's just my question. Okay, now, the thing is that if you connect to a wrong, there are two things here. There are two wrong things. Wrong will not work. But fifty website will collect your money. So there are two things. If you connect to a wrong one, it won't work because the protocol will not synchronize. Okay. So if you connect to a wrong, it will not synchronize. But if you connect to a fifty porter that want to pick up your money, then they will hack into your. Uh, they will they will synchronize your wallet and pick your money up. So that's why you must be careful. You know when you want to download some wallet and all of that. If it's a particular coin wallet, just like I use a uh, Tron now, go to CoinMarketCap, you know, and make sure you check from the website, you know, link up, all right? Link up from the website of the company and click probably maybe wallet or you can check the, uh, uh, sorry, network. Okay, so you have to just look for the right source okay, of getting the portal of such coin or platform and they use the right thing. But, but if, if maybe somebody sent to you, you know, maybe on a platform like, like those of those funny guys, just sent to you to test your, some funny guys can say to you, don't you know that we are making money through decentralized exchange? Click on this and claim this. Man, don't try that nonsense. They're going to pick up your money fast, very fast. So the implication is that be careful not to connect to a PC website a porter because any porter can be cloned but every time you want to check some porter always check the logo most time okay they will do some things be used to a particular uh, porter logo very well like uh, mm -hmm. you know like I, I remember i remember sometime because two second thing is that what make people oh, yeah, get, what make please can mm -hmm. this, Anna, please can you mute yourself you're not asking questions please Okay, so now the issue is it. I, I was, you know, grid controlled us where we lose our money to some of those guys. Now, can you imagine somebody chatting with me? No, they send me a message on my Facebook um, that I have won, I have won, as at that time, I have won 1,000 MCO, MCO of all people, 1,000 MCO that I have won it. Then, as you click to claim, you know, the MCO I have won. I just smile as uh, these people. Now, <laughs> as a hero, you know. Now, it, it, you know, they, brought, they, they cloned the logo and all of that, but there was still some, you know, stuff that were not the same. Some of them can send to your email, but if you check it closely, they will clone and write the name, then they will write it this, at this, at this. So you, you now know that they just cloned the portal name, not necessarily... The, the portal that sent to me. So you be careful. When somebody sent to me, I have won 1,000 MCO from my Facebook page. For what answer? Why the one that you Kaba. Sir? <laughs> to send you back to Kaba. 
1,000 MCO. That time MCO was $5. $5 times 1,000. You know what it means? <laughs> so it's crazy, right? <laughs> so, so we must be careful, right? We must be very careful. Okay. So you get it okay? Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Evening. Hello. Hello, sir. Mr. Phoenix. Yeah, that no. Okay. Can you hear me? Sir? Yeah, light and play. Light and play. Okay. Please, I have a challenge with one of my my people here. Okay. In number one, one, after creating the token pocket wallet. Okay. He copied because he was on the road. I don't know the type of phone he, he used, but he was able to copy it as in screenshotted it and now entered. Since he copied it and now put the private key, hoping to copy it down in the house when he gets home. Okay. So, unfortunately for him, that phone fell off his hand while he was entering Keke and he lost that thing there. So, we've been trying and already he has. Bought throne. He has about ten thousand, uh, five thousand. Uh, yes, throne inside the wallet already. So I don't know how we are going to retrieve this um, wallet now. Uh oh, so sad, so sad because the uh, private key. Yes. No, the private key. No, but, but okay. Is it only the private key? But uh, did he? He has um the 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 twelve rings? Yes. Do you have the trefrace or is the trefrace you are referring to or the private key? You know, there are two things. The private key itself, when it was set in the, T the TP wallet now, the token pocket wallet. Yeah, there are two things there. There are two things there. There's a private key and there's a... Is the, uh, the private key, yeah. Okay, no, yeah, yeah, get me right. Yeah, there, there's a private key and there's a, there's, a, there's a phrase. There are two things there. Yes. There's a phrase mm. and there's a private key. So uh, is it is only private key he copies and he didn't copy the twelve phrase, right? Yes. Ah, that we can't we can't do anything. We can't do anything. <laughs> Quite unfortunately, yeah, it's a, that's the hard truth, you know. Uh, unless I'll just try to check up some things, but because uh, the 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 twelve phrase will have restored the wallet. No, the twelve phrase will have restored the wallet. So. Practically, now the, in order not to encounter this again, please, sir, uh, is there after creating the private key, is yeah. there anywhere one can find it? If you log into your po your pocket, your token pocket, is there anywhere you can find it in well, your wallet? Does, okay, the, the the phone the phone is still okay, as in you still can log into the pocket uh, the token pocket. Yes, yes, he can log in. And you see his money. And that one is not a problem now. That one is a minor. Okay. I will, I will put it through. So where can we find it? He wants to copy it down. That is his, so that his problem. Is that one is the minor thing. Just, just, just pay okay. You say you have 5,000 to, uh, token there, right? Yes. And just pay me 4,900 of it so that I will do it for you. Okay. And okay. pay me 4,900 out of the token he's having there so that. We can get this sorted. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, sir. We'll do it later. We'll do it right. later. It's, it's not a problem. Thank you. It's okay, sir. Thank you. Right. Hello. Good evening, sir. Evening, sir. My name is Chidese Confidence. Uh, honorable. Ayoga. I remember your I remember leadership, sir. Okay. Um, it's about this... Um, a Terra Credit um, KYC. Okay. You, you, when, when I asked in the WhatsApp group, you said you just snapped the back of your uh, international passport and put in there, but you've not checked if they have, have verified it. So I don't know if it was verified that way. Well, I've not checked. The, the back, the, yeah, the back of um, my internet. That's the, that's back right up, you know? That's, there's a place of uh, where the 
where the chips of that international passport is. There's some right up the there. Is it the or something? What is the right there? Not, ju not just the cover page. That plays the right function, something, something. This passport remains the property of the, of the government of the whatever, whatever country of Nigeria and the Ugola. All right? That's the place I snapped. Oh, okay. Okay, it's all right. Yeah, yeah. So you open it and snap Thank you so much. Is that right, sir? Yeah. Yeah, any more questions? We'll spend one um, hour testing it already. Question, Good evening. Actually, I have something to say pertaining this um, um, Trump link of a thing. I tried to download it, so after the opening, I have a page on my screen, which is showing um, something like remote from Chrome. Then I have down below Meta Mask, Mask, Guide Wallet, I Wallet, Mask Wallet. So for me, I don't really know what to do. I just need it. You, you did what? I didn't get you right. Oh, just like you said earlier, I went to Coin Market Cap, okay. type on what's the first term. Yeah. I went to the website and I literally click on Wallet. So on that wallet, I click on download that term link. So after the old stuff, I added it to Chrome extension. Okay. So after that, I have a picture right now on my screen, which I don't know what to actually do there. That Chrome web store. So you have from the, there, I'm having. You have the wallet. You have the wallet now in your in your in your in your Chrome uh, browser. I'm not really sure. Uh -uh. How? When you downloaded it, you can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. Now, after you downloaded it, you, you have MetaMask in your, in your Chrome, right? Yes, I do. Now, do you have something like this? Did you pin it? Maybe you didn't pin it. On my MetaMask? No, on your Chrome. Did you have it like this? Is it pinned to your browser? No, no, no. If it's not pinned to your browser, then you can have it. So you have to look at it. Uh, beside your MetaMask, look at this edge. You have to click like this. It will show you the throne like this, right? Now, when you, when you go to your uh, browser, you have created the account already, but this throne is not out. It's hidden. Now, you have to click on this icon, this extensions icon, and then it brings a drop-down menu, and it will show you throne like this, but this pin will be faint, all right? It will, it will fade. Mm -hmm. Click on it, yeah, it will show pin. When you place your cursor on it, it will show pin. So that when you click on I've it, it will... That. Pardon? I've done that now, it's on the screen. Then, if it's on the screen, then you can now click on it and use your password to log in. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, once you have used your password to log in, you can see, just like, look at my own now, like this. So you can use your password to log in, and then you see Tron. Then you, if you want to um, participate in the store, you can go to your, uh, you can now click and then, you know, click on receive, you know. And so you can copy the uh, receive, then probably copy the wallet, okay? So, and send Tron in there. So once you are sending Tron in there, then you can use the, the Tron, um, um, the Tron um, uh, smart contract and just click on the, Tron smart contract on the browser. And so, you know, and then when you click to register, but you have to check, you know, the, the, the ID number of the referral, and then you continue to synchronize the same way your MetaMask function. That's the same way it's gonna do that. And so you'll be good to go. Okay, thank you so much, sir. All right, All right so ladies and gentlemen, I think we'll try tonight and so, <laughs> Okay, uh, so I think um, if you're new tonight, you can go back to the person who invited you to this forum and ask him questions and how you can you know, get started. If you, are, if you are still very new to crypto, you are not too late. Crypto is a baby. I can tell you till tomorrow is still a baby. We've not started. Crypto have not started. Everything that's still happening in crypto is a pre phenomenon. And even when the phenomenon happens, that's not you know, the main thing in crypto. The main thing in crypto is mass adoption. And once mass adoption happens in crypto, a lot of people are waiting until, I remember in 2016, somebody told me 
I will not get involved in cryptocurrency until the federal government of Nigeria legalizes it as a legal tender of asset or uh oh, uh oh. It will never happen, so don't even expect it. So then bye bye to you because I will not expect you because the parameter you're using will never work. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not expecting you. The only thing is that I can encourage you to wait for another decade. You know, why? Why, need, why another decade? Another decade is says that that time, the people who have enough money can use so much money to still make the profit they want to make. But they can't make insane money like you would do without necessarily putting too much money because the land is still very fertile. You know, but if we're here and we're just gambling here and there, we don't set a standard for ourselves. I can't just imagine anybody in crypto right now. You have been in crypto since more than one year, one, six months, or six months, or three months, and you do not have a particular coin, one or two or three of primary coin you are holding tied to your chest. Man, man, that's an error. So if you're still doing the usual way of, I've told us there is no day trader that is, that is wealthy. Don't get it twisted. No day trader in crypto is wealthy. No day trader. Because he will work to his dad. He will work to his dad. So people make insane money in crypto, they get the right information, get involved in projects, and before it comes into your hand, I was telling somebody when we're buying Chainlink at, we're buying Chainlink at $1, $2. I have a friend uh, from Singapore, yeah, from Singapore, who had traded Chainlink from the ICO since 2017 at less than a cent. And he said he had made insane money in Chainlink. He just has small fraction he kept. So whatever Chainlink is doing now, is like, oh, 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 just adding to it. So just imagine, you know, and like I told us about particular coin, Helium. Now, before you enter coin market cap, we're already trading in an exchange and on one single exchange, on popular exchange for that matter. And when coin market cap will record the all-time low of the coin, it's like the all-time high of the coin because the coin has moved from less than a penny, far, 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 like zero point zero 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 one dollar down the down the line, cross the first zero, the second zero, the third zero, and get to you know a cent, and that's when when it got to about twenty cent was when somebody get to know. Meanwhile, somebody have done like hundred times you know of the money on it. So why me and you are jumping up? The person is already exiting, looking for the low gen coin to maximize his profit. So we'll get there, guys. So let's go back home, do your homework. If you have any more questions, you can talk to the person who invited you. If you are not a forum, you can ask questions, feel free to ask questions, and then we can get ourselves verified. Congratulations. Sorry guys, have a nice time. Good night.